Hey guys, Ty here, and welcome to, hopefully, the long-awaited return of Custom Showcases. So, as you can see, we're on kind of a new set. I'll zoom out a little bit. Nope. That's a, that's a spoiler. But, yeah, we are on the new set with the sky backdrop and the ballast and all that. So, today, we're going to be showing off probably my new favorite custom, Richard 2.0. And now, I know you may be thinking, oh, Ty, last time you talked about Richard and Custom Showcases, that was like 4.0 or something. Yeah, but that was stupid. It was really just the, it was just like the same model, you know, modified and repainted, which I actually have the other one right here. Here it is. I'll do a, I'll do a proper side-by-side -side later on. But, yeah, that was dumb. Because this one is completely new with completely new components. Start off with the tender, actually, because that's what it did first. So, this tender was a standard wooden, ra wooden railway molly tender. I basically what I did, I took the tender itself off of the chassis, shaved down the little the little things that were originally here. I, I don't really know what they're what they're supposed to be. Um, I flipped it around, shaved that down, so the coal was just there. Painted it up in a parakeet green from Apple Barrel. There it is. Very nice. A little out of focus, but it's, that's okay. And then painted the lettering in a Apple Barrel King's Gold and bright red. And to put everything back together and used Apple Barrel Multi-Surface Black. You know, it's, it's kind of to give it the kind of gloss finish on the wheels. Because as you can see, if I just kind of flip back there, you can see where the wheels were yellow. And I got it. I got to the point where I think, you know, it, it works. There's no real tell that they were yellow to begin with. And now let's go on to the engine himself. So Richard here was made with a 2000 um, and one, I believe, James. As you can see, it has the plastic funnel. So it's, and so it's still kind of the old style model. I painted it up in the same parakeet green as the tender, because, you know, why would I just switch the color up? That'd be kind of dumb. And then, here's the here's the face. You got a good look at that. This was the um, casted 2005 Coldy face that Ron Dog 248 sent me, or Ronnie Wilson, my boy. Uh, shout out Scalunis real quick. So I, pa I painted that up, uh, and gave him the good eyebrows. Um, I painted the number plate in the standard apple barrel black. That's just kind of got the big tub of it. And then went over the outside and the actual numbers with King's Gold again. Then I painted the actual dome up with folk art uh, gold. It wasn't this one um, in particular. I had to throw out the other bottle that I had, which I actually used for this. And then I added uh, the little safety valve bits I, I don't really know what they're called in Great Western Engines. But, um, yeah, if you look at an actual Call of Goods, which um, Richard is based off of, you can see that the safety valve, that's what which the dome is supposed to represent, has the little has a little Great Western... I, mean, I think it's a steam thing. I, I should know. But it has a little thing around it. And here on the bottom, you can see that I did Richard up in um, just, just some white paint for the, just for the name. Now we'll do an actual side by side. I'm just gonna take the wall away. Ooh, crazy. <coughs> All right, here's a kind of little side by side here. As you can see, there are a good amount of differences between, between these two. For example, the original Richard, which I'm dubbing like the realistic version, is a much darker green, and it has the actual pipe on the side of him, which the uh, new version doesn't. I didn't actually do a proper number plate on the on the older version because I didn't really have the skill set to really do that yet. And I have the kind of curved up firebox there. And also I forgot, to, and the um, funnel is rimmed with gold. Now looking at the tenders. This one is way bigger because it is a Donald tender. Originally, you can see kind of the the remnants of the old versions 
on the bottom here. So yeah, just the Donald Tender without the coal that was originally on it with custom coal and a water filler cap on the top and a much simpler, more basic version of the lettering. While the other one is smaller, better, I think, personally, because, you know, I'm biased to new with better lettering. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, new custom showcase on the new set. I figured I should do a few of these in between bigger videos, and yes, the next big video is being worked on right now. The script is all finished, and I'm working on voice acting stuff for right now. I hope you enjoyed this. If you didn't, then oh well, and I'll be seeing you guys next time. Farewell.